Hello everyone and welcome to this Groovy JMeter tutorial series. In this tutorial, we will learn about the variables. So let's begin. Variables in programming are used to store and manage the data. Now think variable is just like a container which holds a value. And now that value can be changed during the program execution. Now for example, you have 100 containers and now question is that how you will identify that which container contains what value. So in order to identify that every container should be have a unique name and the data type that defines the kind of a value it can store. So basically if you have a 100 containers, you need to label them. For example, the first container contains the value A. The second container contains the value B, right? So in order to understand this concept more, so let me give you one more interesting example on this one. So for example, if I'm coming to your place and I have some fruits, okay? And then I will ask you to, okay, put those fruits in a container and I will grab those or pick up those tomorrow. Now, the container of a fruit is basically a variable and then you will ask me to label that so that it, tomorrow I can easily identify that okay this particular box contain the fruits which you need to pick up tomorrow from me right so this is how your variables work in the programming language now the question here is that why we need variables why we need containers, why we need to store a value, why we need to label those containers. So basically, when you are working with your scripts, you don't need to go with the hard-coded values. This means that every time, for example, you need a value 15 in your script 10 times. Now, first approach is that you will type 15 every time you are using this particular value this is the one approach the other approach is that you create a variable and store the value 15 in it and reuse that variable as many times as you want across your multiple test or scripts right so, so the first point is that we don't need to go with the hard-coded values this is the first reason the second reason is that we are working with the application which are dynamic in nature dynamic means that when you are interacting with this application, based on the request, you will be getting different response, which which we in 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 the lame terms, which we call it as a dynamic data, right? So we need to store that dynamic values, and those dynamic values can be your user credential, API keys, or response values. So that's why we need some container to store those values. Now, the third thing is that. Changing a variable value, update it across all occurrences, making maintenance easier. Now, let's take the first example where we discussed that in scripts, you have to use a value 15 for like 10 times. Tomorrow, the value has changed to 20. Okay. Now, what you need to do is that you need to go to every place and update the value. But in case of the variables, what you need to do is that you need to go to that particular variable and update the value and it will update across all the occurrences in your test cases. So that's the reason why we need to use the variables. Now let's go to the JMeter and start writing about these variables. In JMeter, what we need to do is that we need to go to this test pen, right click on this one, go to add, go to threads, then add a thread group. Now inside this, Again, right click, add, go to sampler, then JSR223 sampler, click on this one. Now, we need to work with the variables, right? We know these are the containers with which contains a value and it also have a name or the label, right? So, in Groovy, you can define the variables in different ways. The first way is that simply... I will say the use the keyword of def and name. For example, you need to uh, create a variable with the name name. Okay, so name of this particular variable is the name. Okay, now I have just created a variable means that I have created a container and I labeled it as a name. 
I now I know that this particular container will contain a name. Okay, this is our first way. Still, we haven't have a value in this container. The second way is that we can simply go with say a keyword variable which is var, and we say for example city. Right now here we are again we have created a variable. It's, it's a container and the name of container is city but it doesn't contain any value and the third thing is that we can create a variable where we can explicitly define the data so basically the concept here is that the value which we need to put into the container can be anything right for example it can be fruits it can be vegetables it can be your cosmetic it can be your mobile accessories but all these are of different categories right so in the programming the concept is same every data is categorized right so for example if i want to write a message so message is basically a value which has a data type of string so in the programming we categorize that kind of a data as a string so for example i say a string and i will say message so here the the word message is basically a name of variable right now these are three ways we can define a variable okay but still so far there's no value inside that particular variable so how we can assign a value to these particular variables so simply if i say name is equals to i will say testing now this is a variable name and this is a value which are stored in this particular variable in similar way we say here like um sydney okay so now this is a value stored in a variable which is, has been labeled as city similarly we have this third variable and here I say welcome to Groovy J Meter tutorial, right? So this is a string because this is a complete sentence. Now this complete sentence is basically stored in a variable, and this variable is labeled as a message. So tomorrow, if I want to use this variable so i will be calling this with this particular name okay so that's how you can define the variables and declare or assign the values to the you know a variable right now we are just understanding the variable but tomorrow what we will do is that we will create a variable and on the run time whatever the value we will get will store that value in this particular container and then call the variable so let me summarize this right so variables are just like a container okay which has a label and it contains or it stores a value okay and they are used for different purposes which we discussed earlier right so that we avoid the hard-coded values we need to update at one place it will automatically get updated across all the addresses right so this is the purpose of using the variables in any programming language and in this series as we are learning the groovy for the jmeter so we will be utilizing those variables very frequently in our scripts thank you so much for watching this tutorial if you like our content then do like comment share and subscribe our channel once again thank you so much and see you in the next tutorial